and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i will be talking about some things that you definitely need to know when you visit a turkish family when i moved to turkey about five years ago i definitely um, had some surprises some things that i didn't know so i thought i share them with you so if you visit a turkish family then you know what to expect like i already mentioned i moved to turkey about five years ago i'm living in marmaris turkey and on my channel you can find a lot of beauty related videos fashion but also vlogs here in turkey so if you like that make sure you subscribe and if you are excited please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because you really help my channel with it so more people can find me here on youtube and obviously i'm a super small channel so definitely don't forget to do that so yeah, let's get started the first thing that you have to do is take off your shoes when you come to someone's home i would say almost all of the turkish people do this and um, take off your shoes and i think that's also very clean i think it's very polite if you come also to someone's home that you just take off your shoes and respect their home and turkish people are very clean um so i guess that's the reason i would say in my country in the netherlands um a lot of people wear their shoes inside their home to be really honest my parents also always told me to take off my shoes so if you go to someone's home here in turkey just take off your shoes and they would really appreciate that then what a lot of turkish people give you when you come inside their homes is a terlik which is like a home slipper in turkish they are called terlik and i don't know why they do that i guess because um it can be quite cold in the winter obviously i live in marmaris so in the summer you don't really need it but um in the winter time you always get them they just give it to you turkish people always have like a little collection especially for guests so their feet won't be cold so that's something that you can expect if you visit a turkish family then what i also learned here is that if you come to someone's home you're always like chatting a little bit uh, for a while and then like after five or ten minutes they will ask you if you want to drink or eat something um, in the netherlands people ask it right away like in my home if someone comes in your home you ask like what you would like to drink but in turkey it always takes a while so first they are always chatting a little bit and then after they offer you uh, something to drink and if they offer you something to drink um, it's usually turkish tea or turkish coffee so turkish tea comes in a little glass like this this is like a classic turkish tea glass and they will also refill it for you and i find that always very funny because they are watching you like if you finish something that they refill it as soon as possible and then the turkish uh, coffee comes in a little cup like this it looks actually like a espresso cup so funny story when we went to one of my husband's cousins they offered me turkish coffee and i hadn't had it before so i didn't know what to expect and i believe it's called coffee ground so basically half of the cup is like actual coffee and then underneath there's like coffee grounds coffee grounds and i was drinking it and i had no idea so I was just drinking, drinking and all of a sudden I got all of the coffee ground in my mouth. I was too shy to say anything and thank God they always give also some water with the coffee, uh, with the Turkish coffee. So I was like drinking the water and like hoping nobody would notice. And it was like all between my teeth and everything it was like a disaster. So if you get Turkish coffee, make sure you drink only like half of it. Otherwise you will have like all of that dirt in your mouth and it is not that nice. Then usually when you have like tea and coffee, they always give you like a little plate with all different kinds of like chocolates or pastries. Um, also lokum, which is um, Turkish delight. And basically they always make like a little plate with things you can get. What is also a very popular snack here in Turkey is Çekirdek, Çekirdek, Çekirdek 
which is um, a sunflower seeds and Turkish people absolutely love them so sometimes they also give that to you they basically break the seed with their uh, teeth and for me it's still quite hard to eat that but Turkish people can eat it like crazy like they break it so quickly and yeah it's re really funny also sometimes they give you some fruit so they give you like a little basket with all different kind of fruits and also a little knife so you can cut it yourself and that's also what I learned here then if you have to go to the toilet uh, sometimes they can be quite different they can be like the old traditional Turkish toilets I would say that the newer homes uh, all have like a normal toilet the ones that I, I'm used to uh, but sometimes you have like a old style toilet so bear in mind um, that you can find it there then it will not be like a huge shock for you but um, yes they can have still like the older styles toilets also what I forgot to mention is that uh, Turkish people love Cologne uh, which is like a strong alcohol like disinfect for your hands and a lot of the times when you come to their homes they will give you a little bit of cologne so you can wash your hands like with it so it's all nice and clean so also that's something that I found um, that again Turkish people are very clean is that you like can disinfect your hands and also by weddings it's the same when I went to like a wedding salon a lot of the times the grooms and brides uh, parents are there near the door to greet you and they will give you also a little bit like of Cologne uh, Cologne it's called in Turkish I also have it here and I love it I love to use it you can also get different scents but uh, usually it is um, lemon so that's also something that they will give you when you enter or when you are going a little bit of Cologne so these are some things that I think you should know before you visit a Turkish family and um, if you like to see more of these videos let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe I upload twice a week every Wednesday and Saturday and of course you can also follow me on Instagram and I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos bye